Hi again, everyone. This video is sponsored by Contribution from Anonymous, and here's her story. Hello, Ollie. This is to let you know that I enjoy your raw, no bullshit opinion. You've given direct advice, and I'd rather ask you for help than sit in a counselor's office and get nowhere. I need someone who's going to tell me the truth, and you will. I had a narcissistic mother offset somewhat by my dad, but not much. He wasn't as smart as she was. Dad was basically her slave, even up to his last month dying in hospice. All he could worry about was who's going to take care of her. That was sad, especially since she never showed up for him in hospice unless it was me dragging her to see him. Mom was pretty much non-existent in our lives. Napping or I can't say where she was. I have no idea. I can't say I remember her much growing up. When she was present, all the children were competing to kiss and polish her ass. And I remember that smug face she had when we kids were doing, were doing that. She got off on that. I was the third child, so I ended up giving up trying to get attention because my older siblings could do better than me to get noticed. When my little sister broke her leg falling from a bike, a neighbor lady called my mom to come get her girl. And mom had, Lee, had a lame excuse, showed up an hour and a half later. They did things like forgetting kids at convenience stores on road trips. There were only four of us. They couldn't count the back seat. I had a cut left untreated until the skin rotted, and I had to get a skin graft, and I had an ugly scar. And I have an ugly scar. I'm trying to fight off the sneeze. Our hair was kept unkempt, and we had to wear the same clothes for multiple days, and she would so she wouldn't have to do laundry. She a hoarder too. She's got to be a hoarder. She's got to be a hoarder. Only a hoarder can live like that. I was ridiculed at school and by the neighbor kids. The neighbor ladies called us ragamuffins. She didn't show up for my high school graduation. No reason. When I got a master's degree, she was visibly put out to have to show up for that. I was a bug to her, an insect. We were there to serve her needs, and she was the smartest person in the room. She played everybody. We have a golden child brother who was a monster and given the best while the three daughters got shit. Surprise, Ollie. She's a hoarder and garbage piled up literally to the ceiling in his house. Uh, oh, he's a hoarder. He's a hoarder. Okay. I knew hoarding had to be coming in somewhere here. He's a hoarder and garbage piled up literally to the ceiling in his house. When my dad died, I went through their old files to clean out their office and found their will, leaving their business and assets all to him if they, if they both died. <clears throat> the rest of us got a minor share of cash. I knew that was her influence. Dad agreed to anything she wanted. Our nickname for our brother Tom is St. Thomas. Since then, he's completely taken over all control over money and has her live in, living in a ghetto apartment. Good. She has the occasional dementia now. I suggested a more appropriate facility for her. Why? Why? But St. Thomas is Dr. No. He won't do it. Well, I understand you have issues with St. Thomas, and he's obviously a narcissist and the golden child. Okay, but I've said this in other videos. Death, old age, sickness does not absolve the narcissist of their shitty behavior. What has your mother done to earn your kindness? Leaving you in convenience stores? Leaving your sister with a broken leg? Scarring your hand to the point of a skin graft? Not showing up to graduation, not doing your hair, not washing your clothes, making you wear clothes repeatedly, repeated days in a row. And then cutting you out of the will, basically, only giving you and giving him total control. So why do you care that her fucking you and your sisters over has now blown up in her face? Why are you trying to get in the way of karma? She's reaped what she's sown. Let it happen. If Thomas is not going to do the right thing by you and your sisters, 
and by sharing it equally between the four of you, why would you want to see the bitch who cut you all out benefit from it? Now, it may be because of his narcissism and his greed that he's doing it, but so what? You're not getting that money. Why should, what has she done to earn any kindness from you? Nothing. Nothing. Do not get in the way of karma. I dread the day we get the call from the police if she goes off the rails. Let's say Thomas handle it. Not your problem. Not your problem. St. Thomas' pattern, Thomas's pattern is that he does what's convenient for himself and letting her live in the cheapest apartment is best for him. It's also providing a part, he's also providing a part-time job for his pastor's wife, doing caretaking for her with her money, but I don't see any evidence of the caretake, any caretaking. His priority is he looks good to, to his church. Again, so what? So what? Let him spend her money right in front of her. Let him. Let her reap what she's. I hope he hires his whole church and gives her, give like, like a dumbass, spends all her money on them to feed his own supply. Because it'll tank him and it'll tank her. What has either one of them done in their lives to earn this type of worry from you or your sisters? Nothing. Stop getting in the way of karma. As an adult, I've been married more times than I would like to admit. I've been a people pleaser my whole life. If I found a closet drug addict or drunk and or mama's boy, at the time, that was marriage material to me. I had to drag that home, marry it, have children, then wonder why I had another subsequent divorce. I admit I wasn't the greatest mother to my, ch to my kids. I've sincerely, sincerely apologized and owned up to my failures, and I've tried to make, make, make it up to them. It wasn't intentional. I had no example to follow or idea how to parent, and God help me, my resource for parenting were my parents. I have a pretty good but not fantastic relationship with my kids. They're neat people. I mean, they're, they're people anyone would want to get to know. They have a work ethic, and I, created, and I created jobs. I could take them with me and have them help me work when they were young teens and older, and they still tell me how much they liked working with me and learning a trade. I brought stepfathers in their lives, though. That was the damage done. No abuse or weird stuff, but I recreated the relationship with my mom with irresponsible men. I beat myself up a lot over that, and I can't see myself ever finding another man. I can't get past that issue. So another thing, no, another couple of gifts your mother gave you. You're unable to have a healthy relationship with men. And she screwed up your relationship with your kids to a certain extent, to the point where you think you're a bad mother. And now you can't find a healthy relationship. Yet, you're worried about what St. Thomas is doing with the money she screwed you out of. That he's not giving it to her. Right here. Right here. I've been successful in my personal development, becoming indifferent to other people's opinions of me. I've lost weight, care about my appearance, and project strength since in my past I've been perceived by people as a victim and weak. The unvarnished truth is I was groomed to be used up and tossed out. At least I'm not a doormat anymore, so there is that. As for the relationship with my mom, I have forgiven her. Why? That's up to you. That's only to preserve myself because it ate me up and it built up, built up a caustic poison in my mind for years. I had no choice but to forgive her or I would end up sick. It was affecting me physically. She doesn't affect me anymore. That's not always true, but she doesn't affect me as, as much as she used to. I refuse to be her slave. I can zig when she wants to zag and she doesn't even know what hit her. The remaining issue left is that I'm a recluse. I have no friends to speak of. And when people invite me out, I sabotage the plans. And I ended up hurting, I've ended up hurting women who would have made good and loyal girlfriends. I usually envision the future with women who invite me somewhere. 
my subconscious creates some future scenario that it will be a lot of work for me. I'll end up being ridiculed and no fun or reward out of having a friend. Why the hell am I like this? So I'd appreciate your advice. Is this normal or abnormal behavior? I wish I could understand why I do this. What is your opinion to change this? Thanks for your help, Anonymous. The reason you cannot find a friend is because you're beating yourself up because you haven't forgiven your mother for shit. How could you? How could anyone? How could anyone? You're still trying to run back and kiss her ass by proxy by getting your brother to, 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 to spend the money on her. She's got your father to screw you out of. Fuck that. That's your mother who still to this day has screwed you over and your brother continues to screw you over. Friendships aren't work. They're work, but they're not hard work. They're not amount, they're not the type of work you think that needs to be put in. The reason why you think a friend needs so much work is because you expect to be treated by everyone the way your mother and family treated you. And that is not the case. And until you cut these people out of your life, you're not going to progress to the point where you want to be. You're at a point where you know what the problem is, you know what she is, you can call it out, you can see it, but you're still trifling with these people. This does not work without no contact. The only time you should maintain any type of contact with a narcissist if your own children are involved. End of story. There is no I forgave the narcissist. You didn't. You didn't. Because if you did, you wouldn't be in this position. You didn't. You know you didn't. You could say it till you blew in the face. You didn't forgive him. How could you? You still don't understand because you haven't had the no contact clarity you need to see people for who they are, to see that people who are your who want to be your actual friend, that you don't have to work that hard for it. Friendship usually comes naturally. Yes, yeah, some need a little bit of work, not the amount of work of the ass kissing it took to try to make your mother happy. And why is it so daunting to you? Because you can never make your mother happy. It's an endless task, and that's why you're running away from you will not see this until you come to the realization you have not forgiven anybody because they don't deserve forgiveness. They don't. This abuse continues as your brother still holds the money, spends it on himself. And you know what? In your scenario, that's the next best thing. She wanted him. Let her have them. She made her choice. She made her choice. Let her, let her die with it. And that's as gritty and as plain as I can put it for you. So, thank you for your contribution. Thank you for your question. Don't take it as me yelling at you. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comments section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, or you'd like to set up a Skype phone call or have a private video made, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. And if you're still confused, just click the link that pops up at the end of the video and follow my instructional video. Also remember to like and share this video subscribe to the channel, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my uploads. This is Ali Matthews. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon.